After their son died in a golf car crash, a Corona family is now on a mission. They say they want to spread his giving spirit with the world. NBC4's Amber Frias shows us how the Nemat family is turning loss into change. The Nemat family always knew their son Adam was a special boy, but since his passing, they've realized how much of an impact his good deeds had and why they need to keep his legacy alive. People who knew Adam Nemat could depend on two things, his sense of adventure and his kind heart. I am still overwhelmed with how many people have reached out, how many parents have messaged either through text, face, Facebook, other sources, and just be like, my kid thought your kid was his best friend. At just 17 years old, Adam was a force for good. It started, I would say, in fifth grade when he volunteered to do the traffic. And there's only two of them in the entire elementary school who were doing that. He was a leader in raising awareness for the global water crisis, serving as treasurer for the Thirst Project Club at his high school. Adam was also known for actively promoting blood donations and volunteering to feed those in need. I think Adam understood that better than most adults that you don't have to be do big things. You can do little things and they still matter. The teen had plans to study physics at UC San Diego and was looking forward to milestones like prom, graduation, and his 18th birthday. But those plans were cut short last Friday in a deadly crash involving a golf cart. He was with his friends. They were on a like a souped up golf cart in the dirt area. Everyone survived except for Adam who died instantly. But today, his legacy lives on through organ donation, his parents fulfilling his wish to continue giving, and the community also rallies behind him, launching a GoFundMe campaign to support UNICEF in his honor. Any people to keep going out there and doing good and, and doing what they can. Hoping to keep Adam's memory alive, one small act of kindness at a time. Amber Frias, NBC4 News.